Hello everyone, my name is Winged Supernova, and welcome back to the Fire Emblem Three Hopes demo. In the last episode, uh, all of our friends in our mercenary guild were murdered by Geralt's mercenaries, uh, because they sucked, and then... Uh, we had a time skip of six months. We we met, well, before that, we met, I think his name was, what, Arvis? Something like that. Uh, he's like an ethereal being. We still have no idea what he is. Probably some sort of god. Uh, he gave us power, then told us that uh, we need to get stronger. So, apparently we did. There was like a six-month time skip. And then we saved... Uh, we saved Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude, teamed up with them, and we got roped into working for Garrig Mach Monastery, so that's where we are now. Let's get it started. Prologue. Three houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. I hear that lay motif in there. Edge of Dawn. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of? Oh boy, it's a faculty meeting. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom Jesus of Christ. my heart for rescuing Her S's never students. get harder. They, they never get easier to listen to. They're so wispy that it's... it's ugh. It, it's like very, very hard on the ears. Uh, why not? Uh, it was nothing. You take a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. Why However, not? the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the Officer's Academy here at the Monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are Ooh. a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. Maybe. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Eh, why not? I, need to get stronger <laughs> and do I just I love need to. going against what Arvis wants. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after... We can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. Roll immediately. We'll do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. Hmm. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of Just our one houses year. corresponds to one of Fodland's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Lester Alliance. 
We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Okay, well, I love this UI, by the way. I just love how it pops up. It's really nice. Um, okay, well, 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 well. Many are nobility, most of them use magic. Most value chivalry and excel at military arts. But they lack an organization they make up for in skill. That's probably the least flattering one of the bunch. But so I already said last episode. Edelgard's Black Eagles. Are you certain? Yes. We are going to go with the Black Eagles yep, first. That's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons I want details instructor. on that roster change. Hello. Hello. Ooh. I can already tell I'm gonna learn a lot from you. Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuel, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Yeah, something tells me that you're a bit of a free spirit. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Okay. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. Yep, we knew that. Oops, well, I clicked something there. It, it took a little long, so I was like wondering what was going on. Let's see here. The student of the Black Eagle House are now playable. Adrestian Empire. So we've got Hubert, Hort, Dorothea, Ferdinand, Bernadetta, Caspar, Petra, Linhart, and of course Edelgard at the beginning there. And uh, it shows all of their classes and their weapon types that they can use. I think the fact that Caspar and Bernadetta can use the same weapons are is, is incredibly funny to me. Um, but her low HP definitely, uh, definitely sort of throws her towards being an archer versus being a punchy punch person, right? Though it would be really funny to just watch her go around and punch everyone. She'd be a bit of a glass cannon, I would think. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, oh, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once Steve proved who? not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. Her. So they've they keep referring to different people by pronouns. I I Huh. The bandits, the string pullers. Huh. 
perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm pretty sure Yuritsa... You know what? I'm not gonna... Eh, I think this game probably will do a good enough job of spoiling Three Houses storyline that I don't really need to uh, say anything. But wasn't Yuritsa one of the members of Edelgard's little selection there? She probably pulled some strings to get him as the professor. If I had to guess. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to All right, the first day Eagle we're going to kill everyone. You selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for Sorry about that. this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Uh, now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes, I have Thanks, eagerness Edelgard. to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, Fun by me. sleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. Mm. <laughs> He's a keen one, that now one. You know the rest of our Good house. thing his laziness As outweighs some of us in camp, his uh, you perception. You into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. I love the way Petra speaks. <laughs> Here approaches. <laughs> Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, okay. Oh, he's gone. So it would seem. Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I. I need to tell the professor I can't participate. Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know Sorry, Bernie. Mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. That is kind of your catchphrase, isn't it, Caspar? He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, and makes tracks. Strength and silence don't always go hand in hand, though. Indeed. Just look at Caspar's father, Count Burglies. That Damn. man shouts an order. It is so oh, okay. loud that the seas themselves part and the clouds retreat. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. Um. Quiet confidence or fire off a quip. I kind of want to see what she does. Careful, Edelgard. If you set me loose out there, there won't be any bandits left for you. It's fine that it's funny that Hubert liked that. Two weeks later. And Edelgard speaking with Yuritsa. Keep that in mind. There you are, and Yuritsa. there's Seth. I have word from the knights. It is time. Yes, the bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose Land in the kingdom, but the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No. 
You don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. All right. Mission it is. I don't know why, but you, the way Yuritsa speaks like reminds me of Lost like a 1990s them. wrestler. I, I don't I don't have like a specific one, but just 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 some it's the way that he speaks. It just sounds like he's reciting lines from a promo or something. A shame to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. He's a hound. Professor, it's fine. wait. Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. I suppose we shall. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? Bandits! <laughs> dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. Oh, the really? Fortress? Yes, that's a Kaspar, big fortress. That's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seems suspicious. Me or something because else, Because there. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the kingdom and the empire, but that is no imperial outpost. It's not the kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home right now but the bandits might be inside and they must answer for their crimes it is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul this isn't about nobles it's about doing the right thing period and striking down evil is the caspar way thanks caspar um but even so we don't know what's in there I would feel a little bit apprehensive of just charging straight in. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We should hold off for now. Huh. I hadn't pegged you as the cautious type, but maybe that's what we need. I've seen too many people die. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Maybe we are. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Well, I think it's time to, for our first preparation here. We have to defeat the thieves. Battle ends in victory when you fulfill the victory conditions, and ends in defeat when you fulfill the defeat conditions. Route of important units such as the main character and house leaders will also result in defeat. Check victory and defeat conditions by selecting the battle details from the pause menu. Okay, defeat conditions are none, apparently. So let's see what we have here. We have gatekeeper with an iron axe, sword user, lance user, lance user, and a sword user. And there's some soldiers around with swords. Yeah, most of the base captains all have swords. That stronghold captain has a lance. That one has a lance. So, pretty much just your normal fare. Um, currently, in our party, is Ferdinand, Edelgard, us, and Hubert. Which I will roll with. 
You can only take four, it looks like, for this battle. But, uh, yeah, that's all I need, so let's just go right in. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow Here we go. L is quick menu two. Approach an allied unit and press L plus Y to assign them as your adjutant. Press L plus Y again to cancel the assignments. Adjutant assigned. We get raised stats based on the adjutant's class. So there's a little bit of strategy behind making your adjutants this time, it looks like. With at least support level C, you will have access to the adjutant's unique support and tactical abilities. Adjutant follow-up, adjutant guard, and partner specials will activate. Huh. That's interesting. You can change that. You can also assign an adjutant by selecting your desired adjutant from the order screen, then pressing ZR Other. Selecting the unit whom you'd like to assign and choosing assign adjutant. This is the last mission that I was able to This is the last mission that I was able to uh, play before uh, before I stopped recording the last time so do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. Uh, you got my back? Alright. Oh, Adjutant nice. acquired. Where is... We are 30. Come with me. I right. would be honored. Fire magic and the burning status. Fire magic attacks may inflict the burning status on enemies. Yeah, they give us they give us sort of like a definition for each one of these uh, these different types of magic that we get a control over. It looks like Edelgard just generally has there. Boom. Alright, so that was enough for... Take a breather. That, in my opinion. Boom. We do a lot of damage. Well, we get a lot of hits, I guess I should say. Oh, we get a weapon from him. Pick that up. We do want to go quick here if we want the S rank, though. This so. place is bigger than I thought. Split up. All of these dead bodies are enough to numb the senses. Let us go. Oh. Dark magic is actually pretty cool in this game. The way that it works. I yeah. Destroyed. Alright. Yeah, Shez is doing really well so far. Gotta keep aiming higher. We're going to try and order some people to do some stuff now. I just kind of want them to swap, you know? Because he's a sword, right? Here I go. No. Mistakes. I kind of want you 
They must learn who they seize that. Is that a treasure chest? Hmm, a treasure chest? Yes. It seems we will need a key to open it. There's a treasure chest over there. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. That bandit appears to be holding the key. Alright, you're down. We'll go after the thief next. Yeah, they force you to check that. I'm bringing it down. So thieves have thieves have these. Fantastic. Well done. I do love the adjutant coming in and continuing the combo. It's so good. Alright, so we got the chest key for that. And we can now go open that chest, actually. Watch Boom. The regard seizes the plaza. It's better inside the fortress than it was on the outside. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. And now. And we got a new weapon for that. And a new accessory for completing everything over there. I'm just gonna go to right down here and take care of this these thieves as well. There we go. It looks like we get uh, a bunch of. This is certainly not what we signed up for. Oh, well, he took care of him. So you really just have to break their guard with a with a normal strong attack and then continue onwards. All right, so everything's done here, which means I can swap over and then tell Edelgard to head on over. Here I go. No mistakes. Go grab the grab that. Um, Why are you not? I'll provide some protection. Actually, hold on. Is there a No, there isn't. For some reason I I thought that I had them set as an adjutant, but maybe I missed. Destroyed. I say that takes care of securing the bandit hideout. Unless something else concerns you, Professor. Okay. I, maybe I like tried switching and I accidentally unbound them as adjutants. But we'll try and continue. He 
still level one, so he's got some level one up to do. Oop, I gotta dodge hey, that. A prisoner down here. Oh, would you look she who it like is? She's alive! is nothing for Ferdinand. Ah, and we have saved Monica. Are you here to rescue me? Lady Edelgard! It is nice to see you, Monica. Monica, how did you... No, my questions can wait. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. Damn, they really just- the AI just really goes over here and seeks out any disturbance whatsoever and obliterates it. Alright, so what we can do here is... There's not a question I can. Only a matter of my will is- Tell them to guard, and that's- that's what we will do. They are. And they just told us that we can do it. Student. It falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. It is Monica's task to get up there. We are going to, in the process, run around over here and take care of here all these assholes. These new, mysterious. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Oh, there's another thief that we have to take care of. That's a side mission, though. Boom! Take him down. Chez is too good, dude. I cannot wait to upgrade the classes of these other ones because it's just, they're just not great. We're gonna go take care of this thief first though. Okay. They're just coming to help. That's fine. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Hell yeah, we got the other ones in there too. Good. That's the last of them. Ah, we got to get with dark magic so we're a little slower. Sorry, I'm slowing you down. Still a little bobby at the moment. I got this. Alright, you're done. Got rid of him. They're fine. I don't need to help them very much. They can take care of that themselves. We'll go back down over here and take care of the rest of these. Oh, hi, Kronya. You know, she's just there. Hi there. I'm Kronya, but you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. Thanks, Clown. So good. 
kill her. I will gladly kill her. If you truly are Kronu, then it is you who will die this day. What? Boom! Light magic gives us a certain percent chance of restoring our HP when they damage enemies. That's nice. Kaboom! I haven't seen that yet, actually. That's pretty cool. Nah, I did it a little bit too late there. Probably shouldn't have done that in Nosferatu. But, oh well. Let's see what we've got. Oh, they're fighting. I thought you guys were fighting Kronia. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hey, Kronia. I think it's probably death, considering what happened in the other route. Hey, Hubert took care of it. Any experience? Nice. Hmm. You asked for it. Release the creature we captured. Wild demon beast. You mean you captured it? Where the hell was it? This is going to be trouble. On your guards, everyone. All right, so these guys. The Wild Demon Beast. I have fought this before, of course. This is really cool, the way that they do the barriers here. They make them so that each monster is, prote is protected by four barriers, and the barriers can be destroyed using attacks that correspond to the monster's weakness, or by using an awakened attack. The awakened attack hits anything. The... The, uh... The barriers, though. As you can see on here, it's like one is sword, one is spear, one is axe, and then one of them is actually light magic, which only Hubert has. So here we go. You'll never defeat it alone. Yeah, okay. All the Ooh. numbers in the world won't save you. So we want to use Nosferatu here. here and there's one of them. We took that down. And then... Ah. Press the attack. Oop, get away from him. You can see when its area of effect is coming out based on that, which is pretty cool. Come here, bitch. Aha! No, come here. Aha! Kaboom! They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible. It was kind of weak, to be Alice honest. Isn't going to like this at all. You'll Alice. Pay for this. You'll all pay. The hell does he have? That that's sick. Escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. I'm guessing they were trying to save Monica. Damn it! My time was a little bit too long there. Yeah, if you, you have to beat it in 12 minutes, I think. I was a little bit too lackadaisical. I think you can probably replay it and get the S rank, though. Um, but yeah. A rank, you get 30 plus bonus XP. Edelgard's level 3, Hubert and Ferdinand are both level 2, that's good. And Chez is level 5 now, so that's pretty much what I wanted. That's pretty much what I wanted. I want Edelgard a little ahead of the rest of her classmates and then everyone else pretty equal. So in the next, uh, I won't let myself in the stop next here. mission, we will probably 
we will probably focus on a few new students. Maybe even she maybe even taking Shez out of the lineup and putting Petra in, since she's our other sword user. This will help me break new boundaries. Carpe diem? What does that do? Can manage them from the Who convoy menu. Spirited seas. Trust. This power will serve me. And backbone. Ooh. Some weapons have attributes. Multiples of the same weapon can have different attributes. Battles with a high recommended level will afford you greater chances of acquiring a weapon with good attributes. Some weapons will always have the same attribute. So you've got you got different attributes, you see them in like bronze and what is that, black, grey, whatever. Boost consecutive hits, venom edge. The venom edge is pretty cool. But uh you can only wield weapons that are the uh that are the level that you can wield. So anyone with an E rank in sword can't wield a D ranked sword, of course. But that's uh that's what you gotta you gotta know there. Seems pretty good though. Seems like they've sort of accurately depicted how Fire Emblem Three Houses works in a Musou game, which is pretty cool. Oh, I thought I would never breathe fresh air. But hey, Monica's back. I lived. I'm not sure what so we have say, a new classmate, right? Thank you, everyone. How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, loyal, I more plan to devote one. that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a black eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Damn, throwing shade, huh? Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends okay. swell. You know, I sometimes I wish that I had... <laughs> that I had classic mode on so that I could just... <sighs> Okay, I'm not gonna finish that statement. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Yeah, I agree with that. one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? I don't think she had the opportunity to. Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. Yep, there you go. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Mm. Your Highness, I, um, thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas, the librarian. Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, We've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. 
I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this, Interesting, Kanya? indeed. Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't You know, know. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. But a shadow at this point. Gone. Vanished. Lost. I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. How vague. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. I don't know what to feel about you, <laughs> to be and quite so honest. You're kind of weird. Has elected to apprehend Thomas. He has been away from Garrick Mock for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the church. The knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive, so we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he, he does. Oops, I skipped I've that on accident. How many times I've spoken to the man? No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um. He does so though. What did he look like again? Is he the big burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail what do you old mean? man with a walking Big stick. burly one. Who's the big burly one? From what I understand, he has been at Garrick Mock for forty years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? Well, yeah. He meant yeah, a I mental can... transformation, yeah, I not can a physical correct that. one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried Every day about is a learning day for Petra. you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You know, I don't know what you were doing in the course of our battle, Bernie. You're but I talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even I was there. Gonna say? Yes. You were not oh, she was talking about the previous thing too. Living. You're right. Everyone, pipe down. Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gate? How can you tell? Oh. Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there and quickly. Uh, well, I'm gonna I tell them Tomas what I'm doing. Here. I have. Uh, I'll be right back. Wait. We should discuss this before you. <sighs> Never mind. Sorry. Why do they have spurs there on their is. armor? Mm -hmm. well, I suppose they do ride horses, but still. It seems a little mean to the horses. That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. <laughs> What is this? That's some hefty magic. Oh, I'm old and ugly now. With a forehead the size of fucking chili. Or chile. Hubris for me of vermin. You will pay for this. Find him! Right. And what he did was just like... Oh, do we suspect... I think we suspect our friend Byleth. Well, we're gonna save. Because we still 
it's only 50 minutes. We've still got some time. Prologue. But, uh... The Shadows of Adrestia. Adrestia. Here we go. Upon his return to Garrig Mach... From this point on, I'm blind. ...shapeships and fleas. And not even the Knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Oh, interesting. So this wasn't what she had planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Oh, really? Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. Maybe not. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one. The Church. Forgive my impertinence. But that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I like doubt what? the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you. Lady Edelgard, as ever. I can hear the, then let us the walk instruments coming in path. there on that chorus. It was very interesting. Let's see where it takes us. Hmm. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Oh, Not really? at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Enbar? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm just sharpening my axe. We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Mach for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendel. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. Hmm. He returned a changed man and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. That's not good. And while we have allies of our not own, Ferdinand. it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. That's kind of crazy. So she's sort of... She's not trying to, like, 
do a coup on the Empire with the church's forces, but she is planning on there to be opposition to their path towards the Empire. But we still need your help. Please. This is I definitely conditions. different. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the church. I don't know about that. Very well. I will summon the knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the goddess watch over you all. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this. This is uh this is a little crazy. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. I'd say. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. We'll see. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. Yeah, how are we in this state? It's because state? they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. That's definitely interesting. Ah. Uh. There you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital. But I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have... Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But we'll here's see. my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that would that be interesting. Is intriguing. Yeah. That's true. I agree with Arval on this one. Oop, well, I just kind of skipped there. Um, I think this might be a good place to stop, actually, on this loading screen here. Because I feel like we're probably going to, like, jump right into the next battle. In a second. But, uh, let's read, let's read this personal information for Shez that we haven't read yet. Close allies, Edelgard, Hubert, and Petra, specifically. That's interesting. Um, status, wandering mercenary. Interests, getting stronger in mercenary work. Likes seeing her friends smile. Her adoptive mother, who I think is dead now. I mean, based on what we heard. Not going hungry. Dislikes losing, reading maps, and wasting time. Those are very, very specific. Well, the reading maps one is specific, I guess. Uh, details, born in a mountain hamlet in, in the Leicester Alliance. Becomes a mercenary and begins living as a wanderer at some point. And then at 1180, we enroll at the Officer's Academy. But hey, that's uh, that's about it for now. That was a rather eye-opening episode. And I'm sure it's just going to get more and more crazy as this goes on. But this is still the prologue. We haven't even made it to Chapter 1, which I think, I think the way that I've heard this you get three prologue chapters for each house that are specific to them and then chapter one as part of the demo and that's it then after that you have to buy the full game so we have a total of 12 chapters to play so that's that's what we're going to be doing um but as for now 
that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one where we, uh, I guess we march on Inbar. It's pretty early on to be marching on Inbar, I think. But I guess we're doing it now. See you guys then.